So I just got my tripod. I'll open it up. Then. At least I think it's my tripod. I don't know where I'm going. But I know where I've been. Gone to heaven a thousand times. But they never let me in. I saw the streets of gold. And all the restless souls were turned away. I tried so hard, but my reckless heart, it went to straight. Yeah. Hey guys, so I just got my new tripod, and I decided to make a new Me and My Reptiles video because I wanted to like test out my tripod and everything, and I wanted to actually start sitting in front of the camera when I speak, so yeah, I'll start with my oldest reptile and then go up to my newest. So here's Bellamy. He's my two and a half year old male bearded dragon. He's no special morph or anything. Um, if you guys watch my other videos and stuff, you might recognize some of them. Um, he's breathing. <laughs> yeah, this lizard is my soulmate. I love him so much. I've had him for about two years. Um, he's from a pet store, he's so he's not anything, uh, not from a breed or anything. He does have this really pretty orange color here. I don't know if you can see. But yeah. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about them. I'm just going to do it briefly. But um, I'll insert like little clips of each one after I'm done talking about them. My second reptile is Cory. He's a five or six month old corn snake. I don't know his morph or anything either. I'm really not good with that stuff, but he's just this orange color. He was my first ever snake and I was never scared of snakes or anything. I was just not really comfortable around them. And he really helped me get over that because as you can see, he's just really, really sweet. I can't wait for him to get really, really big. I actually don't have much to say about him. But yeah, as you can see, he's really relaxed. I forgot to add, I've had him for about two months. I keep his sheds because it's so cute. And then when he gets big, you'll be able to see how small he was. Next up is Lori. She's a two or two and a half year old female bearded dragon. She's a hypo leatherback. And she's really yellow. I'm not good with like that citrus and all those colors and stuff, but she's really yellow. I got her about four months ago maybe um, from someone who really didn't take care of her. Uh, I had to take her to the vet like a week after I got her because she was having trouble breathing. Her mouth was always open and um, so she had a respiratory infection. And she has head tremors, like her head always shakes because she had a lack of calcium. Like he never supplemented her or anything. And um, 
she was a breeder, so her eggs would always suck up her calcium and everything, and he never supplemented her, so now she has that. But she doesn't have MDD, which is like really surprising. But yeah, this is her. She's pretty, she's such a good girl. second snake is this, I think he's five months old, um, he's a ball python. His morph is a, a blade and he's a 100% head clown too. <clears throat> I've had him for, how long have I had him? A month maybe? Yeah. I love him. He's so cute. I love feeding him because he strikes where his food gorgeous drop feeds so it's a lot more interesting to feed him. And he's really fun because he could just chill on your neck and watch TV with you. I let him sleep in my hoodie and then I watch TV. It's really cute. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. But yeah, he's a really pretty boy. This is my leopard gecko Callie. I got her five days ago maybe. She's a carrot tail. I don't know if that's that's a thing. That's what the people at the pet store told me. <clears throat> She's really sweet. I decided to get an adult because the babies are just like really skittish and I don't want to have to like chase after them and everything and she was already uh, you know pretty relaxed. <clears throat> After only five days of handling her, I put my hand in the cage and she comes right up on my hand. Sometimes she gets nervous though when she's out, but I guess that's just part of the taming, I guess. She's really pretty. I don't know if that's normal for a leopard gecko, but here's the thing that happened with her. Um, the day I got her, I fed her two superworms, and she hasn't eaten since, which was like five days ago. I don't know if that's because... It was like a, a big meal for her and, and like she's not hungry or I don't know, I don't know what, but she hasn't been eating and I don't really like that, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I'll take her to a vet. So really tell me what it is right now, right now, cause I'm mixed up with the shit right now. At my lowest, don't blow it 